solve the following equation for x in terms of k. So here the, the question is k times e to the power 2x minus e to the power x is equal to 0. This equation looks difficult, but uh, it's not that difficult as it looks like. So we want to solve for x in terms of k. So what can we do? So let me write this equation again. So k times e to the power 2x minus e to the power x is equal to 0. So can I write this like this? k times e to the power x squared, so using the rules of indices, minus e to the power x is equal to 0. Okay, so now what happens? So this is, uh, okay, so what can we do? So can we factor out e to the power x? So if you factor out e to the power x, you have k times e to the power x minus 1 is equal to 0. So this has become a quadratic, uh, in a quadratic form. So this is k times e to the power x minus 1 equal to 0. So this implies, you can say e to the power x is equal to 0, or k times e to the power x minus 1 is equal to 0. Now I want to think logically. Is this ever possible? e, as you know, is a, is a number, uh, 2.7. So let me show you that on the calculator. So if you have, or any simple calculator, a scientific calculator, if you press shift e to the power 1, this is 2.7182. So e is a constant. Any number raised to a variable can never become 0. So this is not, this is never possible. So this is not possible in real numbers. So you can say not possible. Okay, so yeah. Now solving for this, you can say k times e to the power x is equal to 1 over, is equal to 1. Now dividing both sides by k, e to the power x is equal to 1 over k. Okay, now taking log of both sides, natural log of e to the power x is equal to natural log of 1 over k. Okay, so using the log rule, can I say this is x times natural log of e is equal to natural log of 1 over k. And natural log of e has a base of e, so this becomes 1. This becomes 1, so we can say x is equal to natural log of 1 over k. So this is the solution of this equation in terms of k.